for the pelvic fracture, in order to know that we're going to use the pelvic fracture splint instead of the hip splint, we're going to look at our assessment of the pelvis. When we push in on the symphysis pubis, in on the iliac crests, and then down on the iliac crest, if I feel any crepitus or pain response, I'm going to stop the assessment and move on to a pelvic wrap pelvic splint. For the pelvic splint, we're going to take a sheet and run it underneath the patient's knees. We'll slide it up under the patient's pelvis, spread out the sheet. We're going to pull tight and cross over. Both clinicians continue to pull while we cross a second time. And we'll cross one last time, continuing to pull tension on the sheet and then wrapping it underneath the original part of the sheet. We'll then take three cravats and slide them under the patient's knees. One cravat goes above the knees. The other two cravats go below the knees. Similar to the pelvic splint, we will fold a blanket in between the patient's legs and going proximal to distal, we will tie our cravats. Once the patient is secured, we will put them on a orthopedic stretcher and secure them to the orthopedic stretcher, after which we will check the patient's pulse, motor, and sensory to ensure that none of that has been compromised.